I'm Peter Hank with Florida Sportsman Magazine. And welcome to Florida Sportsman Kayak Challenge 2013. This year looks to be better than ever. It's our second year doing this tournament. This video was put together to help you increase your chances of turning in a quality photo that could make you a winner. What happens a lot in these tournaments is you're out there fishing, you catch a huge fish, you're really surprised, you didn't expect to catch anything that big, you bring it in there, you sit there, you get your camera, you start taking pictures of the fish, and the next thing you know, two things happen. You forget that you put your little token in there, and also a lot of times you forget to actually get a good measurement of the fish. So I want you all to do is practice, do a dry run, like I'm doing here, I set it up in my backyard, and what you want to do is get used to going through the fundamentals of catching a fish. It seems simple, but when you got the excitement, you caught a huge fish, a lot of things can happen, you can forget a lot. So, tournament fishermen know, they've done it a few times, they know the drill. If you're new to this, be, let's start making it become a little bit of a habit, practice a few times beforehand. Number one with your camera, make sure you got your date set right. It's very important. All the digital cameras, they do have dates. We're going to be checking it to make sure you got the day, the year, and the month all set on your camera. You're set to go. Very important. Also, like I say, have your token. Have it ready. I have several of them. Don't forget to put in your photo. It's so easy to do. Let's go through a little drill, and this is a good practice. Pretend you're fishing. You catch that fish a lifetime, you get it up, what are you going to catch here in the backyard? Well, you don't know, man, all of a sudden, whoa, look at that, wahoo, oh my god, I'm so excited. I caught a wahoo. Yeah, in Sebastian, who would ever guess out of a kayak? But anyway, here it is, I get excited, I laid a thing down. Now remember, offshore fishing, it's hard to get a measurement of a wahoo when you're doing it. You don't have to get the measurement until you get to the beach, so you got to take two pictures. First of all, first picture. Get the wahoo, put the token up there, get a shot of it. Doesn't have to be the whole fish, but make sure you get the shot, get the token, take a picture, you're set to go. Now once you get into shore, you gotta sit there, take your wahoo, lay it out, put it on your board, get a good measurement. Make sure too, again, your token's in there and also you got the kayak in the picture. So those three things. But it's so easy to do when you catch a big fish like this to get excited and you forget either your token or when you're taking pictures on the beach, you don't get a clear shot of the measurements. And all these things can disqualify you and they will disqualify you. We're going to be very firm with the rules this year. If it's not clear, we can't read it, it'll be disqualified. Also, for you guys fishing inshore, same scenario. There's several ways you can do it. A lot of people use a measuring, I call this a measuring box here, has a tape, it's laid down in here. A Florida Sportsman yardstick works excellent. For your rules, for your big offshore guys, you might end up using a tape measure that can roll out to seven foot or so, because who knows, you could catch a fish six foot or longer so sometimes these boards aren't long enough for you so make sure you have something measuring device is going to handle the size fish you're going to catch also what i like to do as far as practicing practice you cut a nice size flounder here it is it's a piece of wood but it's a good way to sit there and get used to what your camera can do lay it down in your box or your measuring stick take your camera Set it up, take some pictures, and then take some more pictures, but try different angles, different heights. If you're not sure what your camera will do, some of these cameras got wide angle lenses, some of them don't. You don't want to sit there and take a picture of your fish like this, be all excited, and then find out that the picture you took did not show the entire from the nose to the tail and showed the numbers clearly. Very important. Also try it with a bigger piece. I just get a piece of wood here. I'll lay it down here. Okay, this is definitely a, a definitely a good size overslot snook. Okay, I lay it in there. What's it going to take to get the photograph of that snook? You're going to turn it loose, 
Okay, if I sit there and take a picture like this, it's basically not going to show the whole fish. I may have to get up, even up to a point like this, to get a picture. I'm not sure, but going through a dry run will let you know. This thing is right at 39 and a half inches. So I know this camera, I can stick it up here, check it. Will it cover it? It may not. I might have to sit there, put it up here in the kayak, lay the snook down, get back like this, take pictures to make sure I get a good shot. If you got a good sized fish like that, take multiple pictures. You can take a dozen pictures. You can only send one in to Florida Sportsman, but you want to make sure you take, I, I would take, if I had a good size, a 39 inch snook, I would take a dozen photographs of it. Real quick, click, 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 different angles. Make sure that I could get the tail and the nose in that kayak, the tail and the uh, nose of that fish in that picture. Okay, let's do a quick review. Number one, make sure you got your camera. Make sure you got the date set correctly on it. You're ready to go. Also, practice different angles so you know whatever size fish, you can capture the whole fish. Go through it ahead of time so you know exactly what you need to get a 30 inch fish, a 20 inch fish, or a 15 inch fish. Very important. Also, make sure you have a measuring device. It's gonna sit there, it's a legal measuring device, not a homemade one that you can get the correct measurement and it's long enough to handle the size fish you'll be fishing for. Token, if you're fishing offshore, make sure you use this when you take the picture of the fish offshore and then again when you get to the beach, make sure you have this, the fish and the kayak all in view. Take a picture then with the measurement, you're set to go. This is a great tournament and you can end up winning a nice Slayer kayak just like this one. This is mine. You're not going to win this one, but they do have a brand new as one of the prizes. So they got some great prizes weekly and also throughout the two month period. So sign up, enter the tournament. Even after it starts, you do have a chance to win. You don't have to sign up right away to be in this tournament. You could be in October or even start in November, still sign up for it and have a chance to win some great prizes. So remember, have your measuring tape, have your token, and uh, make sure your camera's set up right. And have a great tournament. Thank you.